It's Jana and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So last week we talked a little bit about reception lighting um, and in this video I want to talk about how I photograph the first dance. And, and when I say the first dance, um, I do the same thing for the first dance or the mother, uh, mother son dance or the father-daughter father dance. And for me, dance is really special. I don't know if you guys know this, but I was a dancer from the time I was three years old, and I still take tap classes now, and that's what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so I'm really, like, I feel like connected with the dancing and, and the music, and if I were to have a wedding, I think one of my most favorite things to do would be to dance with my father. So um, I take a lot of pride in the way that I shoot the first dance. So anyway, I just sort of wanted to share with you guys the, the way that I do it. Um, so I'm usually always on my 50 um, and then I'll have my second shooter be wide because for me I want to get intimate I want to get that shot that's like emotional has a little movement and I need her to get the shot of like what's really going on and maybe you guys do the same thing maybe you already do this but who knows I just uh, thought I would kind of share it so like I said I'm always on my 50 and the first thing I do is I'm like looking around the room right so there's four walls in a room there's going to be a few walls that are going to be prettier than the, than the other backgrounds because I'm not using flash. So I'm going to have ambiance like in, in, in the frame. It's not going to be just flash and, and just them. So I'm looking for the most beautiful ambiance, whether it's like a beautiful chandelier hanging or this amazing backlight. Usually if there's a band behind them, then I'll get that shot because there's something kind of classic about it. But that's not going to be like my money shot. So I know already before the dances start, like which direction is gonna be the most beautiful. And basically, um, I will always start like this and I dance with them, basically. So I, I don't wanna be intrusive, so I keep back a little bit and I walk around the dance floor like this. And then as they're turning, I go back like this, if that makes any sense. So this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm just gonna kind of show you what I do. So say that they're dancing right here. So I'm like this right here, so I follow them around just like that. And then when, I, when we stop right there, because I know that they're about to turn around back this way, I back up like this, here, 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 here. And I start backing up, backing up, backing up. And I do this kind of over and over. So I never stay in one place. I'm moving around with them, I'm moving around with them. One thing I'll do sometimes if there is a band, sorry, I'm like out of breath. If there is a band and there is a stage, I will always jump up on that stage with the band and I'm getting a shot from here. So I'm like, you know, up on the stage with the band like that. Never will I ever let a dance go by without getting close. So I choose the right moment, and you know, I've already told this to the videographer, I've already told it to my second shooter, at some point I'm walking up and I'm gonna get really close, I need that emotion. Um, the last thing is that for me, when the song is over, that's when you know when to put your camera down. When the song is over and everybody's clapping, that's when they're hugging the most natural. That's when they're um, looking at each other like, wow, this just happened. That's when they're not dancing anymore and all that emotion's happening. Anyway, here's some pictures that will show you kind of in my style. Like I said before, I don't use flash. I'm always gonna have like using the ambient light, maybe using the videographer's light and really being precise during that time. Okay, cool. Anyway, so I'll put some more tips on this um, on my blog, jennafromalabama.com. You can follow me on Instagram, which is Jana Williams Photos. Um, you can connect with me on Facebook, Jana Williams Photography. Um, and as always, stay inspired. Bye.